So I'm currently using DJI Osmo Action 4 as a webcam in OBS. Let's talk about the hardware that I use so that, I don't know, I feel like it's important. If you're on Windows, maybe you won't have the same experience uh, that I'm talking about. So I'm using obviously the latest DJI Osmo action camera. It's connected to my MacBook using the original cable that came with the Action 4. My MacBook is an M1 Max a 32 gig MacBook Pro. I'm running the latest stable version of OBS. Uh, none of the betas. The only beta is you here. And here's the experience. So it looks epic. You connect it, it looks epic. You can show everything you want. It looks amazing, right? It's fucking awesome. Ultra wide, it's beautiful. But here's my issues with it. No 60 FPS. So it's max 30 FPS, 1080, a shame. I want to have 60 FPS, right? Number one. Number two, if you have good eyes and you've made videos or edited videos, just look at, look at this. So every few seconds, it lags. I just, I hate when this kind of shit happens. I want clean video. I want clean video. So hopefully DJI fixes that in an update later. They're good at fixing big things through an update. So, you know, it's not all bad, maybe, they'll fix it, right? But right now, it's the way it is right now, right? Also, it's kind of a non-issue, but kind of an issue. You'll understand what I mean. So it gets really hot and uh, it stops like charging. I don't see that charging sign. It's like this weird thing. I even contacted the customer support and they still didn't get uh, the information to me. They said they're gonna talk to the team and then get back to me. And you know how that happens. Nobody will get back to me until I write. And anyways, essentially my experience is when the camera is really hot, it stops charging, right? It stops charging, but also it stops, the battery stops draining as well. Because the last time I used the Action 4 as a webcam, the camera was at 4%, right? So I was like, I'm gonna connect it, use it as a webcam and charge it at the same time. So wonderful. So I connected it, started using it as a webcam, but the camera didn't charge. It stayed at 4% for over 30 minutes. So that's some data for you. I was waiting for it to either go down or go up by a percent so I can tell if the battery is slowly dying or slowly charging. But after 40 minutes of it being stuck on 4%, I decided to just move on. If I'm streaming for like six hours and my battery is at 4%, I want to know if the camera is gonna die in the middle of the stream. So even right now, if I touch the camera, it's extremely hot. I know it's a tough camera and it can handle really high temperatures. I just have a feeling that it's probably not good when you can cook food on your camera. Is that overheating? I mean, technically it's working and I'm getting this video out of it, so it's fine. Also, when I hit the battery, because when I connected it to the computer, it was at 100%. I've been recording for about 35 minutes, including all the takes, and the battery is at 100%. So is it charging? Is it not charging? It doesn't have the charging symbol. I found this on a DJI forum, and it was written by an administrator. And that's not even about this model specifically. This is about DJI Action 3, which is a very similar camera. They essentially have almost identical bodies where you can use the cages for the Action 3 on your Action 4. He says that the charging process may also stop if the camera is noticeably overheating. And it's definitely noticeably overheating. I can heat up a whole room with it. He also says using the camera during charging will affect the battery life as well. It is recommended to power off the camera for charging and then use it after it's fully charged. So I don't know, does it apply to the new Action 4? Maybe, because they're so similar, they use the same batteries as well. And that's been my experience so far. If they update it, I'll definitely make sure to let you know on X, or I'll make another video about it. Let me double check the battery life. It's still at 100%, so we still don't know. Is it slowly charging? Or is it slowly fucking 24 hours later? So now it's the next day and I wanted to update you. It's not a good update, but I connected the webcam to my Mac to do a live stream. And after 10 minutes, the camera disconnected. It sort of like restarted. And then it prompted me to choose the mode again, webcam or file transfer. It's really weird. I thought I accidentally disconnected the cable, but that wasn't the case because I reconnected it, put it in the webcam mode, and after five minutes, it did it again. So the camera wasn't even hot when that happened. So I don't think that's overheating. I'm not sure what it is. A quick interjection. I'm editing this video right now, and I feel the need to tell you that the single screen preview was off. 
during all of the tests, meaning both screens were on during all of my webcam use. I just keep it that way when I film and I didn't know that it wouldn't change the setting at all in the webcam mode. I think it should turn off the screens automatically when you switch to the webcam mode or at least turn off the main screen. So now I'll try to manually switch single screen preview on when streaming to make the camera less hot. It's annoying, one more step because I like to have both screens on, like I said, when I film normally. I've also had it in a protective plastic frame that came with it. And some people said that it traps heat. Personally, touching with my fingers, I don't really notice the difference. So anyways, back to the video. I checked for updates today. There were no updates available. It's just annoying because it makes it not so reliable and uh, I really like the image quality that I can get out of it and I want to use it for my stream so I just want to know what the issue is maybe it's something to do with OBS or with my Mac this computer has so much shit installed I don't know maybe something is bugging out it would be best to check it on another device like on another computer but I don't have that if you have the Osmo Action 4 and you're using it as a webcam on your computer whether it be Mac, Intel, Mac Apple Silicon or Windows. I would like to know your experience. So leave a comment down below. Let us know. Maybe you'll help somebody. And uh, that'll be it for this video. It didn't turn off once while recording this video. So I don't know. It being random makes it even worse in my opinion. Because if I knew like, oh, it does that when it gets too hot, then I'm like, okay, this makes sense. Don't let the camera get too hot. You can do something about it. But now it's just so random, which makes it weird. But anyways, I'll see you next time.